Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW X5. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a three litre 40D M Sport Auto X Drive. 2014 on a 64 plate has done 73,343 miles. Two registered owners from new. MOT'd until the 16th of the 10th, 2021. Fuel economy, urban. 39.2 miles per gallon, extra urban 48.7 miles per gallon and combined is 44.8 miles per gallon so very good on fuel. 0 to 60 turn of 5.9 seconds, a top speed of 147 miles per hour out of a 309 brake horsepower 24 valve 6 cylinder engine. Road tax 6 months is 132 pounds and 12 months is 240. It's finished in black metallic with ivory leather, uh, beautiful inside, a nice colour contrast uh, to be fair. Got xenon headlamps, high pressure headlamp wash, parking sensors in the bumper. It's got the dark silver metallic and diamond cut multi-spoke alloy wheels. These wheel arch protectors, power folding door mirrors. It's de-chromed with uh, piano black trims around the windows, rear privacy glass the panoramic electric tilt and slide sunroof, the integrated tailgate spoiler, these kind of fins around the rear windscreen, just there, there's your reversing camera, power open tailgate, it's a split tailgate, so this bit folds down too, it's a seven seater as well, seats nice and easy to, to get out, it's got all my camera equipment in at the moment, so I can't really show you, but uh, uh, just take my word for it. The twin chrome exhaust tips and reversing sensors in the bumper. So it's the seven seater, but <laughs> crikey. I think, I mean, uh, that seat's forward there, but I, I, I couldn't even get my feet in the back here, so it's, it's only for children, to be fair. Um, I suppose it's, it's handy enough for a couple of kids in the back, but you're not going to get adults in here. Uh, not and stay friends with them anyway. You've got two inertia belts in the back there too. Blimey, me, that was a struggle. Let's see, just slide that back. That's a bit better, but I've got my driver's seat all the way back too. So it's lovely in the back. It is a really nice color combination. It's nice in here with the glass panoramic roof too. Really doesn't look like there's been anybody in the back here. It's got the overmats too. Lovely burr wood, aluminium, and a nice contrast stitching. Very, very nice. Rear armrest and the uh, cup holders there. I'll just take you for a ride in it. The uh, two BMW style keys. Um, it is keyless go, you just have to have your key on you and uh, press the button there as long as you've got your foot on the brake. First thing to do, off with a stop start. Devil's invention. And uh, off we go. This is a lovely car. Uh, there you go. You've got the uh, tilt and slide panoramic roof I'll just pop it up for you as well there you go so that's tilted up just tilt it back down and then you've also got the shade band but it, it's with with the shade band open 
makes it a completely different car as you can see in my opinion a, a whole lot nicer and the uh, the pan roof is well worth it they'd be better off uh, giving everybody a pan roof instead of charging them for extras like the lane departure warning and uh, electronic handbrakes and, and stuff like that so into drive we've got a hill hold there auto hill hold paddle shift actually I did say it had power folding door mirrors but I need to check because I don't know if it has yes it has there we go get going again and uh, high pressure headlamp wash got the um, professional sat nav let's just put nav on nice display there that's in the split screen mode if I go to click options I can knock split screen off there and then you've got the, f the full display or you can have it <laughs> as a split screen with the the map on that side and then something else on the the right hand side but it, it look it looks nice like so it's Bluetooth hands-free Bluetooth audio streaming um, we've got electric door mirrors on the right hand side here lovely wood finish now as I say I, I really do like the seats I, I prefer the the upholstery of um, BMWs to uh, Mercedes-Benz I think it's uh, I think it's nicer better finished looks better thanks for indicating mate Now this is like um, it's like a sports car, but a four-wheel drive. So it's a higher off the higher off the ground sports car. The uh, suspension it's got M Sport suspension. It's quite firm. You can see on the the dash there, the lane departure warning is just picking up. Uh, the lines on either side and it's indicating by an orange triangle on either side that means if I go over any of the lines without indicating then it's going to vibrate the steering wheel but honestly that, that is the most useless invention ever in a BMW that's got there we go it's vibrating the steering wheel because I didn't indicate having said that it doesn't vibrate as much as the actual car does with the M Sport suspension when you go over the, the uh, broken lines in the centre um, so that that really is redundant it's a waste of money and I also think that anybody who goes into a showroom and asks for a car that's got lane departure warning should immediately have the licence taken off them I mean uh, who who on the road he's frightened of falling asleep or drifting across the road and if they are they shouldn't be driving so just my opinion anyway back to the car it is it's, it's lovely um, I don't like BMWs I've got to be honest but uh, it's a nice car they're uh, <laughs> one of the most searched things on Auto Trader if not the most searched thing on Auto Trader is M Sport, um, and it, I, I mean it, it looks good. It's it's a nice looking car. The seven seats will come in handy if you've got two kids. It's very very comfortable. Front central armrest here with the there you go. There's a power socket inside, auxiliary USB sockets inside. It it is nice and comfortable. It's got two position electric memory seats it's electric steering wheel it will remember your door mirrors too this is. 
Uh, the car is just as it's come in. It was very, very clean to start off with. Um, unfortunately, today it was raining quite badly this morning and the road that I photographed the cars on um, is also frequented by uh, bin wagons and uh, it was really muddy this morning so you'll see from the photographs and the videos that there's a film up and down up the side of the vehicle and it looks dirty but I can promise you underneath it it's very very clean it's just unfortunate circumstances uh, it's cleared up now but it was horrible this morning got the uh, usual gripe with the there you go that button knocks the traction control off <laughs> and I always say it if you have a cup of coffee I suppose you shouldn't be driving when you've got a cup of coffee like but <laughs> if you have and you did and when you reach for your cup of coffee you've got a good chance of knocking your traction control off there um, I I don't know why something as important as a traction control button is on the center console where you can put your arms and it's within reach of the passenger and so on that's uh, just vibrated again coming across the line there um, it should it should be out of the way and it should be something that you I mean to be fair there should actually be and it's not just BMWs but there should actually be a, a flap over it or something so you can't you know like an ejector seat you oh <laughs> passenger's gone same with the uh, traction control you shouldn't be able to accidentally knock it off in my opinion so let's just get up to we're at 70 there we'll click the cruise on set it so you've got to knock the button on then you have to set it just knock that up slightly there we go so we're doing 70 miles an hour at uh, 16 1700 revs that's the fuel light just coming on it's very very taut steering very sharp and precise steering you can you certainly can feel the road through the uh, through the tyres, it's, it's not vague at all. As I say, it, it has got kind of sports car handling. Um, I'm going to drop in behind. Nice clear display on the dashboard. You see there the, the blue bit you may be able to see from the side here, but when I take my foot off the accelerator, the display lights up orange and goes all the way up here to blue. When it gets to blue, it's actually putting charge back in your battery. Um, no doubt to help with the, the strain that the stop start system puts on it as well. And uh, just, to, uh, just to be used when the, the engine's under load. Or the electrical systems under load. I suppose it's like a reserve fuel tank but for electricity. Nice sports seats here. We've got the front thigh uh, support which which actually pulls out. You can pull that little lever there and pull it out, get it right to the back of your knees. that up so you can see better from here otherwise you're probably just getting a view of the there you go it's, I've not figured out how to switch that lane departure warning off yet but uh, after the stop start system that would be the next thing I, I would knock off we'll just go around if we've got a clear run we'll just go around the roundabout at uh, A reasonable speed I'll just show you the the handling of it there you go 
just digs in. So also over the back seats you put the, the six and seven seats down or you can have them individually up. Um, there's a, a roller blind load cover as well which clips in and clips out. And just uh, so that's the you click on the menu there brings up all your features that you can alter from the iDrive here or let me see I think that one's media we click on media that's just on an audio book at the moment but if we flip across there I can change between my phone and the auxiliary play music it will play Spotify Amazon Music, Apple Music, uh, you name it, or anything that you've got playing, the, the, the soundtrack of it, if it's a YouTube video, will play through the speakers if you have it on the media setting there. Telephone, which is telephone, I think that's top right. There you go, that's telephone. I'll knock that off because it's got people's numbers on. You never know these days. And here we go, we'll just go through this. Big fat tyres on the, the X5, the four litre. Here we go. Not too much body roll, lovely steering. So it's, it, it's a nice car. When we get back to the garage, I'll show you how to set the sat nav, um, how to delete a mobile, how to pair a mobile, and how to stream audio. And also, if you knock the gear selector across there, you can then use that to change gear like so. Change down, change up. And we've also got, we can knock that across, and we've also got the paddle shifts on the steering wheel. And there we go. Change up and down from the paddle shifts. You can also control the, here we go, the setup, sport, dynamic driving, knock it back sorry done the wrong thing there sport sport plus comfort and then eco pro eco pro that's the one with the stop start it is quite a good idea if you, if you can bear the stop start it shows you how much how much how many miles per gallon you you're not really entitled to be getting, but because you've been driving sensibly, you've just eked out another 0.2 of a mile per gallon or whatever. What it doesn't tell you is that while you've been doing that and the stop-start system's on, you've worn your engine mountings out, your starter motor, your ring gear, and uh, all your drivetrain. <laughs> and you've paid twice as much for the battery to enable you to uh, to have a stop start system so but anyway I suppose you may as well make the most of it it's uh, it's a lovely car it does look good it's it's one of the nicest looking four-wheel drives I would say very aggressive looking uh, and angled and uh, that's about as much as I can say about it so thanks for watching. Got a couple of Range Rovers coming up to video. I've got an, an Audi Q5, a white Audi Q5, which I've, I've been meaning to get round to. But all cars have the have the problems, have the faults, and so on. One of the things with Audi, they've got a lovely trim around the gear tunnel. It's made of aluminium, and it gets so dented, it looks horrible. If anybody leans on it to get out or they're getting in or they're shoving themselves out or, or whatever they've got uh, 
which side's your wedding ring on? Is it is it that yeah, wedding ring. So they've got a wedding ring on, it it scrapes to to high heaven. And uh, when I set off to do this, I left John taking all the centre console to pieces to put a new aluminium trim on because it, I couldn't stand it. If it was my car, it would drive me mad. And uh, they're not cheap, but we, we've done it anyway. And, that, and that's, I think, about the only thing that, that's wrong with the Audi. So that's uh, that's a lovely car, and hopefully I'll be... Uh, I'll be videoing that tomorrow. That Lance has even managed to get around to clean that before I get out to video it because it's been raining that much recently. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.